and I love KD, I love Kyrie, but like what makes him special? It's like when, when God made him, he was like, all right, I'm gonna give you all this. The thing that people don't realize is some of the stuff he could do. I don't think there's any flaw in this guy's game. He's the best defensive player in the league, in my opinion. He's the best competitor in the league, in my opinion. He's by far the best offensive player, in my opinion. He's the best clutch player in the game. He's got the whole package, and his skill level, on top of that enormous physical package, really sets him apart from the other players. You know, he was the standard. He was what you strive to be as a as a basketball player. To, you know, have so many stories and just know what he brought to the game and know how much he changed the game and then to have him walk in and just, and to see that in form, it's just like, damn, it's just, it's captivating, you know? He's just a polarizing figure. He's built himself up to that point. He went on a historic run that'll never be matched by anybody in the sport. But to see how he led by example every night was the same, you know, he dominated. And that was simply, that's just simply the best leadership quality is to go out there and play a game as hard as you can, play to win, and play at that elite level, you know, and he was at that masterful level of, of, of you know, just his skills for the game, his IQ for the game, and just, and his athleticism, it all combined at once and made just a, you know, God level player in my opinion. Uh, he's obviously, He's the GOAT. He has been the liaison between uh, something that's not so good and making it great for all the rest. I think that almost every man in the NBA should give him 10% of their checks.